Hi, my name is Trevi. And I'm Kate. And welcome back to our podcast called Six Six Feet Feet Above. Big day. (laughs) Everyone's just clicking off. Yeah. (laughs) Stop. (laughs) So today we have our first guest in a very, very long time. Our last guest was Tara Yummy. Our last guest before that was Tana. And then it's been what? Like a millennia? A year. Not kidding at all. I'm honored. I'm absolutely honored to be here. We are honored. Thank you so much for coming. I had nothing else to do. (laughs) I was honestly saying to Kate too, like when I first sat down, this is my first podcast doing Outside of Canceled. Is your first podcast ever? The honor. The honor. Isn't that wild? I well, we were thinking that like, given our past guests, you would be the best guest yes. to have back because we are trying to do like more guests. What like one or two guests a month now? Yeah, moving forward, we gotta amp it up. So you're like the most comfortable for us. Yeah, stop. It makes me nervous. It makes me nervous having like another person here on the couch with us because I feel so like comfortable with Kate, where we can literally right. like fart shit. <laughs> smear Which paint the walls exactly because like, why wouldn't we no <laughs> no I mean, that's like because i'm like what the f- do i do right Get you're good author. at talking to people and like you guys have the best dynamic ever and i feel like our dynamic's amazing so i can't yeah. wait to have our dynamic because i feel like we've met and loki we haven't but we have you know what i mean we I f- met at trevi's birthday dinner like six years ago the that was one? It. yes that's the only oh time God. i've met you no f- that's way. insane i know and you were so nice a little too nice i was like <laughs> You're like, this What's fake her bitch. problem? <laughs> no, like, why is she this on me? <laughs> no, because I feel like I've known you for a lifetime, and I'm I so know. dead ass. I'm so serious. It's so weird. We start making out. Okay. No, wait. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> gonna... <laughs> wait, were you not? Were you at my birthday party? You were at my birthday party. Yeah. Is you? You were at my birthday party. Wait. So am I fake? Wait, wait. Wait. No, I'm just like losing my mind. What was your birthday party? Ten into the trees. Oh, duh. Wait. No, you were on tour. No, you weren't there. Oh, oh I'm so making you're sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, I am the hallucination. I love that you thought you were there. There was like, so much confidence. You were I'm like, not kidding. I was like, well, duh. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're driving or trying to fall asleep, we strongly recommend that you head on over to Spotify and Apple and listen to the audio version. Please rate this podcast five stars. It helps the audio platforms push us out to more people. First lore is mm-hmm. we just had the LA show. Four canceled, and mm-hmm. you were there I was watching there. and supporting. I was. We were there gigging and gagging. Um, how was that experience? The LA shows were crazy. I feel like the first night, not so much because it wasn't completely sold out. I'm like, I don't even know if I can say this. Sorry. No, um, we'll <laughs> no. The first night, it wasn't like as crazy as the second show, just because like the because tr- I am not Trisha. The, cor- no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, 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 at all. Everyone like went feral for you though. They was- did, they were screaming behind me uh, and they were like, Trevi, sing Echo. And I was like, yes. Wait, no, let's- okay. So overall, I mean, having like all the friends there was so chaotic, but so fun. Like I was running around backstage like a f- chicken with my head cut off. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm I not kidding. I was overstimulated back there. I, I could, can't imagine. I couldn't even, there are so many, like think of like Tana's list, Brooke's list, and then it's like my parents and mm-hmm. then the entire crew and it's like this tiny backstage green room and they're all just right run- i literally absolutely wanted to- not yeah i couldn't no it was like <laughs> 40 or 50 people shoved into a room like the size of this i'm not kidding like <gasps> absolute chaos the sweat were you sweating buckets and tour. bullets oh my good sweat god tour. sweat tour <laughs> yeah and, and then not only that but then think of every single one um asking to hit my vape Wait, I'm jealous. <laughs> no, I know. So it was kind of insane. Was, then I just like locked myself in the bathroom and then Love. like, yeah, you know, popped a half. Yeah, a I know. I like, I right. killed your battery. Wait, do you vape? Oh, yeah. Or you just take other people's vapes? No, no, no. I vape, but I don't have a vape currently. So now I'm a vape taker. You a cig girl? Oh, yeah. Okay. For sure. I do a cig once a month. That's how I quit the vape. If anyone wants to know how to quit a vape, well, you do a cigarette once a month. I'm like, that's good as advice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it is, but it's like, it's so funny how vapes were like the cigarette alternative literally and then like people were like overdoing it and now they're like okay maybe you should like go back like i would i never smoked cigarettes ever i don't give that yeah no but it's like i i look so tacky i feel like sometimes in like a nice ass like dress and then like a heel and then it's like a pink jumbo 
and juicy peach gummy bear pussy mm. fart flavor. <laughs> right. And I'm just like, I think like a Capri would fit me better. Basil. Mm. Basil. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't. But I can't because the last time I smoked a cigarette, I didn't like, I wasn't able to sing or talk for like three Oh my God, days, don't. So. I think you're onto something because also okay. like smoking a cigarette, I can't rip a cigarette like at dinner Mm-mm. or like no. in a movie theater. <laughs> yeah. You admitting I mean, that I you hit babes at yeah. the dinner table? No, as hell. We're in the middle of town. It's just like clouds forming. <laughs> they think everything's on fire. We're like, nah, just, just juicy peach ice. Absolutely. Love. I'm hitting my vape every single where. Yeah. <laughs> every, every, every single <laughs> where. <laughs> every single where. Every single what, when, and why. Every like, single literally. where. So it's like a cigarette makes you pace. Yeah. Because then it's like I have to get up and go outside and take 15 minutes out of dinner. Yeah, right. yeah but then and I that's think. that's why. Wait, I was about to say, you yeah. are getting to the point of like the effort and also the, just the disgusting taste it's of disgusting. it all. It's disgusting. You smell bad. Your fingers smell bad. The like ex- if you finger yourself, you get a UTI. It's just not <laughs> worth it. We're glad that you're home. Did yeah. you have a good time? Are you? Have you slept? No. Good. At oh. all. Oh, you, no. Okay, I'm like, how do I PRify this? Don't. <laughs> <Or> at all. <laughs> um, no, tour is fun as for the first, like, week, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then after that, and, like, I hate to say it because it's – such an incredible opportunity to like even be able to do but after the first week i'm like holy f- i miss my bed i miss yeah. my space i miss my routine especially because yeah. i'm such like a homebody ass f- where it's like if i'm not recluse for like a full 24 hours just by myself in my bed rotting right. i will go like actually insane Okay, she's an introvert. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like a little ambivert, but like, okay. what is it? Is that both? Yeah. Okay, so Me pretending I think like I'm I getting there. <laughs> I was like, mm. I'm yeah, like, sure. I'm like, a, I want an ambient and a little Uzi vert. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do I get both? No, um, so I could see that. I, for sure. I definitely had my moments of like crashing the out on tour like there were Mm -hmm. several breakdowns but it wasn't just me it was like everyone involved yeah i feel like that's inevitable yeah right so it's a lot like mentally um mentally draining and i don't know just being home back in my space back in my routine with my girls and pocket and pocket who was what your roommates were watching pocket yeah olivia love yeah love her um you two have something in common Massachusetts. I thought she was going to yeah. say bisexual. Wait, is it right? Right. Well, right. Honestly, We're getting into I was that getting, later. I was going to say Boston, <laughs> but then I didn't want to like generalize it because I don't know if you're both Boston, but like we're both. You're Springfield, Mass. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. It's giving research. So. Oh, wha- oh okay. my god. <laughs> That's bisexual research. <laughs> That's bisexual research. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but um, we want to know like the Mass lore. Like you grew up in Springfield. How was it? Give us the tea, babe. Oh my god. First of all, I grew up in a town called Wilbraham, and That is population, like, 15,000 people. That's population Ethel Kane. That's (laughs) It's population, like... (laughs) Guys, I'm sorry to interrupt you in the middle of this episode, but if you could please like, comment, and subscribe and click the notification bell, it would truly, truly help YouTube push our channel out to like-minded people like you. So we really, really appreciate it. Yeah, no, so it was really scary growing up out there just because it was, like, disgusting. Mm -hmm. Um... But town had, like, three stoplights, that wow, type Wow, okay. Um, and then Springfield was, like, the closest, like, city Oh, to our town. okay. Got yeah. it. Um, but Jesus Christ. It makes me, and I, do you feel, did you grow up in Boston or were you outside? No, outside um, Needham, Mass. Is that, like, a small town kind it's of? It's small. Like, it was the type of small where we'd all get drunk and go to McDonald's. Yes. That type of thing. Correct. correct. Yeah. It was had, always like we had that in Temecula, but I was never a part of it. Everyone would Why? get drunk and then like go to the Jack in the Box because it was the only thing open past midnight. Literally, a bunch of rambunctious teens, and my friend like got her first makeout in the McDonald's <laughs> after we drank four loco. Right. Yeah, so. that checks out. Okay, yeah. so like similar town. Right. Um, do you feel depressed as when you go back home to visit? I don't live there anymore, but yes, I can't be there for too long. Correct. Like I love being home and seeing the peeps, but. A part of me is like, oh, good God, get me out. Correct. Yeah. I feel like same thing. Like three days back home, I'm good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Send me back to right. L.A. Right, 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 right. Wait, so when did you go back to L.A.? Um, I mean, g- move to L.A. I moved in the beginning of January of 2020. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, you're like fresh meat. You're fresh. Really? I feel like I'm washed <laughs> You moved up. in like 2022. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what the Whoa, hell? relax. <laughs> Wait, when did you move here? <laughs> Literally two years ago. No, not <laughs> kidding. What the yeah, she I'm goes, oh, you're fresh. I know, like, hold on. <laughs> now that I've, like, lived in L.A. for the amount of time that I have, right. I cannot live in 
anywhere that's not a major city. Mm. So it's like, and now it has to be like New York or LA. Yeah. I could see you in New York. I would love to move to New York. Wait, you oh, should. We did New York. We went to- <laughs> <laughs> We had a time. What happened? We did um, Fashion Week 2023. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, it was me, you, Tina. Tana, and, oh, this was pre Makoa. Yeah. So oh. it was us three in a hotel room, and then obviously Tana has her Taco Bell sauce ridden comforted bed. <laughs> Love. And then Paige <laughs> and I share our own bed. And I don't think I gave... Page like a fair enough warning to like the ways of my sleeping. I think we were still freshly. You don't snore though, right? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever slept with this bitch? Like low key, yes, she is the sober <laughs> living. <laughs> she had to wake. Oh my god! She had to wake me up every morning. Well, listen, it's like it's like fifty fifty. No, and I, <laughs> shut up. Bitch. It's like 50-50, Honestly, it depends how tired I am. It depends on if I took like something like a Benadryl to help me fall asleep. So if I'm like extra, extra tired, my throat will just like, (laughs) but like if I'm like taking like a normal night's rest, it's like, and I'm not, you know, under the influence. Right. No, but it's very (laughs) 50-50. I did get like a laser um, (laughs) vaginoplasty in my throat. (laughs) It's like a vaginoplasty. This is literally, I would wake up to hear this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my god. What? Hey, you were, that last you part were is a fable. Because I sleep fart. And no. so it, it, I relate to you on that. No, because this I'm getting out at. No, because that was kind of rude of you. That, that was crazy. You can only out yourself. Let me go. No, Trevi's never done that. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, I feel honestly really exposed. Okay. But <laughs> I guess like, I don't know, I guess I was pretty awful to sleep with. What What was the one iconic thing that you, How can you kind of... <laughs> okay, I also like want to set the scene because you Tana can... had like her man at the time right. plus his three friends. 17 of them. Oh, yeah, oh, I yeah. just assumed that they're horrible. Sorry. No, was all, all sli- I was like, oh God, the friends. <laughs> all sleeping in like... The- Balls in each corner. Oh my of the god, room. they're all sucking each other off. Sorry, gone. <laughs> right. They had to take two normal standard chairs like this one and put them together facing each other. No, 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 not getting sleep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they were sleeping on chairs. Wow. So there was one day, Trevi's like, we're going to sleep. Trevi's all, oh my god, yeah, tomorrow, like, let's get up early, like, explore the city. Da da da. I'm like, oh my god, yes, Miss Girl. So I wake up promptly <laughs> at like 11 a.m. She's still snoring, so I'm like, okay, I'll go for all get coffee. I come back by this time, it is like 2:30 p.m. <laughs> I walk up, she is still. It sounds like she has a chainsaw. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, Universal Horror Nights. <laughs> <laughs> and I go. All right, get the fuck up. <laughs> no, <laughs> all right, get the fuck up. <laughs> and then, oh wait, and then also the Gabo story. <laughs> <laughs> there is honestly like endless endless amounts of stories where like Paige is in this situation not where you like have to force me to get up but it's like the moment my subconscious <laughs> hears your voice a little raised or like a little concerned I would n- you're like the last person I would ever like want to be on like your bad side so really? I literally like immediately will prop up like as if like the president has called me <laughs> oh my god <laughs> there's, a, there's a photo can we please insert <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're we're in Cabo. It, we are literally all packing up the van to go to the airport. We okay. have like ten minutes to evacuate the house. Everyone's all- <laughs> Tana's just then falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is already in the sprinter van, ready to go. And like Ari stands up and he goes, "Wait, where's Trevi?" I go, "No way!" Stop. Like, she didn't set an alarm. Nothing. So I no I, rooster. Trevi. Yeah. I go. So I sprint into the house bust her door down. I'm going, Trevor, you need to get the fuck up right now. Like the van's leaving. <laughs> Please insert the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the next one. <laughs> like the action shot. <laughs> shut the f- Oh my God. <laughs> and you know what? See, don't I look like like the worst thing in the world is happening to me? Or like, no, you you, you look you look like this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I have tears. Oh my and you know what? She still made it out of the house before Tana did. She always like pulls it off. 
Under pressure. Somehow. Under pressure. Under pressure. Okay, yeah, so tell upset. us how you're a lesbian. Okay, so. Okay, we're getting into that lore. <laughs> when did you, yeah, tell us about like the whole lore of it. Was it Springfield? You were like, okay, I'm giving LGBT or not until you moved to LA. This is actually so crazy because like I've never gotten into like the the backstory of it all. Oh. So you guys have the exclusive. Wait, just to clarify, what do you, I mean, you don't need to put a label on anything, but what are you like? leaning wise label so wise. i always thought i was bisexual but turns out i'm pansexual oh so you want to me yeah oh, oh i've but... been wanting to oh, oh breaking, news. breaking news hey <laughs> um no i'm technically i'm pansexual okay but i also don't usually like throw a label on it i'm just like i like what i like right like everything pretty much mm-hmm. um, sounds like every man on every dating app to me and then they like hide me from their parents right sorry mm. continue <laughs> hate them literally <laughs> um okay so this was back in college i was working at the tanning salon first job and I was working with this girl. <clears throat> Her name was Tiffany. Right. Love. Feels so weird. Right. <laughs> so we started getting like put together for our shifts and everything. Okay. And we just immediately vibed and mm-hmm. like immediate connection, like best friend energy right off rip. Okay. And it got to the point, and this is so sapphic, like looking back at it, it's so black and white. Like at the time, like I didn't know. Right. We would come into each other's shifts and just like, Rot there with each other the entire shift. I'm mm-hmm. talking like six hour shifts, just like there to like hang out. She'd yeah. bring me coffee, vice versa. Yeah, that's gay. As hell. Yeah. As right. hell. And I, did, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I like, I up to that point had only ever like gone for straight guys. Like, right. ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boo. It's boo. Boo. Um, boo. And I also think that's because I grew up in Wilbraham. Massachusetts. That's all we know. That's all I know. Right. Obviously, started hanging out like outside of work and stuff. Mm-hmm. She breaks the news to me that she is dating a girl. <gasps> she has a girlfriend. Okay. And I'm not kidding. Like, when she told me that, like, I don't know how it broke the fourth wall in my mind. Wow. But I was like, oh, my God, I'm gay. Because I was like, wait, wow, I'm yeah. so attracted to you. And, like, finding out right. that you have a girlfriend just made me, like, want you. Like, I, I was going to say, did it make you kind of, like, jealous in a way of, like, oh. Trevi, I, okay, so I, I it got to the point where, like, so whatever, we became like this, right? Wow, okay. And her girlfriend started to not like me because we, me and, Classic. Yep, Classic. Me and Tiff were like this. Yeah. We would do everything together. She would like skip class to hang out with me and like send a screenshot of like a fake email to her girlfriend at the time being like, no <laughs> yes yes oh my yes God. being like class is canceled this and that and she'd be like at my house to just hang like out hanging with you. out <gasps> yes so was it like forbidden you weren't allowed to see her or she just didn't like it the girlfriend just didn't like it okay she just like wasn't cool with it and like tiff would like catch the smoke from the girlfriend about mm, it basically okay. and it got to the point where like we would go out and like we would be drunk and we would do the like the gay thing you know what i'm saying like we would be like this close to each other like <clears throat> in bed we would like fall asleep like cuddling damn near i would like oh want to kiss her so bad but right. like i didn't know how she felt about me right this and that so i just never made a move on her but then she transitioned and turned into ty collins <laughs> <laughs> oh my right. god yes <laughs> yes pretty much um <laughs> and then it was just it would be like so f- sad like i mean looking back i'm like it's f- hilarious and pathetic yeah. but I would like go home drunk and be like crying about it because like oh, I like damn. loved her so much and like that was my first gay awakening. That's how you know when you cry over them when you're drunk. Mm-hmm. That's yep. how you know. I would be like sobbing to my other friends. They're like, okay, get it together. I'm like, I literally can't. I love her. Wait, so you never smooched? No. So, okay, but how this oh. is like the crazy part, right? So I felt like this. I was like in love with her. Like okay. I had like the strongest feelings for her this entire time. Just never told her, like le- never like said anything. Right. Until I moved to L.A., two years into living to L.A., like, I finally told her one night. Like, we were drunk, and I it was at the Dizzy Party. At Tana's, like, Dizzy Party? I wasn't there. I was in rehab. Oh, yeah. Love. <laughs> Just like I was at Tenants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> no, I think I was actually literally in rehab. So we were at Tana's Dizzy Wine Party, and I got drunk, and finally I told her, I was like, you know I was, like, in love with you, right? And she oh. was like, you know I was in love with you, too. Oh. No! Uh-huh. And she's still in mass. Yeah. Damn yeah, it. but she's but now it's so weird. Like that dynamic has like changed so much because right. now she's still like my best friend ever. Oh, you still talk? Yeah. Wait. Mm-hmm. So, but you're not like. But now it's like this feeling of the ship has sailed. Right. And, like I'm standing like from the top from the dock, just like watching it go. Uh-huh. And I'm like, that was so beautiful. Wait. Oh. Well, that was me with for a long time with um, Mason. Mason. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for a long time. I mean, mostly before I transitioned. But then it's like when you, well, not only I feel like when you fall in love with your best friend, I think mm. nothing is more painful than that. But then I think when you lean into it 
and then admit those feelings and then things start happening and then you try to return back to best friends, nothing will right. ever be the f-ing same mm-hmm. right. again. Right. No matter if you turn your pee into a V, no matter if you fucking get a set of tits, no matter if you go to f-ing rehab seven times, me telling my own story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, relatable. <laughs> uh, I'm like, one of those Sounds didn't familiar. happen. Okay, so you, you're just like, watch, you're like, bye-bye. But yeah, no, it, yeah. it like is the same exact thing. But now it's like... Different font. Yeah, mm. but now it's like we're both in a place where we can like look back at that and be like, right. that was so weird. And also it's like, how much different would life be like had we acted on it? Right, Which I wonder. So I didn't crazy. know you never acted on it. We like, I'm telling you, like we both felt a certain way at the same time, did, had no f- idea. And then I guess just over time, like the feelings dissipated or right. whatever and like went away. And now we just both look back and we're like, that's so crazy. Wow. Damn. Yeah. But you don't try to, you don't like... Does one person try to like diminish it? Like, oh, it was like not a big deal. No, oh, no, no, no. We you, both we're you, so like it's because like, you're both women. Yeah, low key, but also not. I was a rower in college, and I there was a girl on my team, and she was out, and I was like, when she I found out, I was like, oh my god, and I had a big crush on her. I was so nervous because mm-hmm. I'd never been with a woman that I was like, okay, I have to black out. Duh. Obviously. And then we like both black out one night and then we wake up and we're like, oh my God, I think we kissed last night. And then we ended up going to an Italian dinner together, sober. Yep. And we had such a good time. Then we started dating. She was my longest relationship. Wow. It was the most connected I've ever felt with anyone. Oh yeah. And I haven't been with a woman since. Woo! And that's on back in the closet. So no, no, no same. Oh no. <laughs> wait, is that you? Yes. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Same exact thing happened. That's why I'm like sometimes I'm scared to like tell people I'm bi because Me they're too. gonna be like, no, you're not. Exactly. Like, exactly. Because you're dating a guy, and I'm like, okay, but I literally my longest relationship was with a girl. Oh wait, so you've been in a relationship with a girl? Yes. So to oh, her, I mean, to that. Um, Tiff, what <laughs> calling her Tiff is so crazy. <laughs> Tiff was like my gay awakening. Like, okay. My bi awakening. Right. And then I ended up dating this girl, Lucy. Oh. I met her on Hinge. Um, right. And immediately, like, went on first date, sparks flying, so fucking cute. And I was Love. like, oh, my God. Like, immediately I knew. I was like, I'm going to date this girl. Wow. Okay. Um, and honestly, like, there's really no crazy lore with that one. Like, she was my longest relationship. We dated for around a year. Literally same. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I'm not kidding. It was absolutely flawless, perfect. Like, right. she was so good to me never had to worry about her following no i don't like I didn't have didn't to check run, it didn't I we run into her at coachella no and yes. i look at you and i go yes. i go Paige, she's stunning <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, you know, that's the worst pain too all of your friends being like damn I mean, the worst not. i'm I like know, don't i'm sorry i mean it wasn't it like a civil breakup though yeah yeah so ultimately like i mean we just like live very different lives especially with my job mm-hmm. like work just consumes my entire life right. and she was like a little more i don't even like want to call her a needy because she really wasn't but just like she just I had like certain things she wanted and you couldn't yeah provide, and i just yeah. literally couldn't provide that right um so ultimately and i just like feel we just weren't compatible like longer term mm. like <clears throat> and like i just wouldn't ever want to drag something on that just wouldn't be it yeah, yeah. um so i ended up breaking up with her she was like honestly just like the best relationship ever yeah and totally. like you said i've just never felt more seen or heard in a relationship totally totally because it, it's so funny too because like w- <clears throat> dating a girl i could like blink wrong and she's like oh my god like what's wrong are you okay right like, That's do you so want to talk me. about it I'm like is everyone having fun <laughs> yeah no literally <laughs> but then a guy i can be like this <sighs> you could be on your deathbed <sighs> no crying. i could be screaming like, bloody <laughs> yeah. Murder. It's like, what the hell? Like, yeah. get and they over it. Don't even notice a thing. They don't. I, my ex boyfriend, who was actually 100 years old, I was <laughs> She's once. Not no, yeah, fully. <laughs> 100. I was once bawling my eyes out next to him, and he was like, You want to get dinner? And I was like, You <laughs> could never. I was like, Why aren't you a woman? Anyways, um, no, you know, the last time I hooked up, well, one of like the last times I hooked up with my situation ship that I relapsed on, not kidding, he nutted, turned over, went on his phone, and <laughs> And check some football stats. Hell. Th- this is, I said on a previous episode, men and women are not supposed to date. They're not. People got mad. Wait. God forbid I'm honest. Wait, no, 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 no. And I agree with that. In what way men does that work? Men don't like women. They, they, they like don't having like having sex with women, but yeah. they don't like women. But then the post not clarity when they're like, oh, once I nut, I don't want the woman to be near me. I'm like, 
you belong with a man. And then I, I disagreed with her on that episode. <laughs> and I, cause I, you know, I have such an infatuation with like the challenge of not even the challenge, but like, I'm so destined to like enter a healthy, happy relationship with and a man. And you will. I told yeah. you, and, you will. And I wasn't that I was disagreeing with you, but it was yeah. just like, I get like, that. Like you didn't want to, you that simply was, asked a question. No, I fully <laughs> asked one singular question. And then we said this in the two episodes ago, but someone, like one of the top comments was like, co-host doesn't get it and then someone responds under it and they're like well that's because he's a man and then someone responds and goes well then he should be on board no! <laughs> and i'm like you no! i can't no! with these f- incels when this sh- like makes I it see on the wrong red. side of tiktok it's, oh. oh my they're so stupid wait but to get back on track um no i hate them An you idiot. Relapse on a situation ship that I want to I get need into. To hear about this. Guys, so we jumped because I relate. Oh. We jumped back into the closet. We right. de lesbianed for like right. five minutos. Right. Um, Paige and I have lore. I don't even know if I necessarily told you, you or haven't told any me. of you. But um, whose side do we even start on? I think you should start with like spark notes and then I'll say how I got introduced. <laughs> I'm already mad. I don't even know the story. But like, br- like brief bullet points for people who already know that like, you don't have to talk shit. No, I just want to no. like because the coincidence went fucking ballistic. Yeah, it was absolutely f-ing nuts. Oh my god, honestly, I would rather like tie my limbs to four horses and crack a whip. Yeah, like, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> then have to like relive this. So met him on Hinge. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, started talking like last October. Okay, spooky season. Yep, November, December. Amazing, cutesy, playing Three house. Three-month rule. Playing house. Every time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. Like, <laughs> going over, like, spending the day with him. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Yeah. Like, uh, playing house. So like, you're I'm, dating. Pretty, we're, yeah. 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 Well, you're, some would say. He wouldn't. Yeah, oh. Yo. Mm, right. So, so that's so, crazy. Not, yeah. So that's, that's not actually nice. what happened. And then um, January, he really said, close the f- curtain, pump the brakes. Like, what he we're said? done. Well, he actually, just ended it? Well, no, 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 no. So, actually, I ended it. Thank God. We- Acting like we're dating whole time. Da, 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 da. He asks me one day, he goes, how do you feel about us? And I'm like, oh, I, like, I'm loving this. Like, I think you're amazing. I, like, want to keep seeing it through, whatever. I go, what about you? He's like, yeah, like, I really enjoy you. Like, I think you're a great person. You're hilarious. Da, da, da. Wow. I know. I'm going, amazing. Yeah. Great. Love. He I'm aware. goes, would you, like, want a boyfriend down the line? I go, yeah. Like, I think that's, like, what we're gearing up towards here. Right. Would love to see it through. Right. <laughs> I go, like. I, what about you, my guy? Oh, I'm just not ready for a relationship right now. You know, I'm so busy with X, Y, with and what? Z. With what? Yeah, no, because actually with what? Going to the flea market? <laughs> no, like, what are you talking actually about? Actually with what? You know he's sitting there at 5.59 a.m. at the Silver Lake flea market with exactly. his fucking spiked dildo in his ass waiting for that Is he shit a Silver Lake guy? his dog with his mullet. I um, hate his dog. I, Sorry. Is he a Silver Lake guy? Well, he's a Santa Monica guy, but he's like, oh! he should be a Silver Lake boy. Like the mustache type beat, like trans silver lake. Must- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mustache mullet, sh- patchwork tattoos. Mm-hmm. What do you mean you're not so ready for a relationship when type. you've been in a relationship for three months? That's- if you're like playing house, I just don't. I just don't get that. No, no, no. That's exactly. I think men think they're gonna like have a threesome with like Margot Robbie and yeah. like just get Alba down free the line. Trial. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm the like, fuck are we doing? Pay for the pro. Right. You got the best. The yeah. best gal in LA. Mm-hmm. Wait, stop. Wait, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Well, like all up. three of us are. Yeah. And I said the same thing to him though. I go, wait, so the past three months, like what the f*** are we doing then? Right. So I go, literally the only difference between us dating and what we've been doing is just saying that we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Right. right. Because we, we were exclusive. We were hanging out. Oh, like, you were exclusive. Yeah. Uh, like, that, is that not boyfriend, girlfriend yeah, I don't when people are exclusive? It, LA has a different meaning. What do you mean? What, what do you, what does that mean? I just don't get it. Babe, I don't, I like went soul searching after I like turned to religion. Oh my God, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm did. not kidding. You did. You, you really did you went really? in on like Ethel Kane and you were like, I think I, I want went from like atheist to agnostic overnight. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'll do to you. Yeah. That's what I'll do to you. Um, but geez Louise. So that ends. Okay. Thank God. His name wasn't brought up hmm. for a moment. You know, we let her heal. We, yeah. we helped our girl heal. Everything mm-hmm. was back on track. Mm-hmm. Everyone was living their lives. Love. I'm on, because gag it. <laughs> I'm on Hinge. Okay. I'm doing my thing. I'm going through my likes. I'm, I'm Xing. I'm hearting. Plenty of likes. I'm doing the whole thing. And then I match with a guy. And 
to a t- to a T, basically my type. Um, Love. We've talked about him multiple times on this podcast. So this guy, we're supposed to go. He was supposed to go on a date with me, um, and then I was. He's in Santa Monica as well, right? So Gaga. We were oh, we, literally so me, Paige, Ari, Tana, like everyone was at Ari's birthday dinner in Santa Monica, and I was okay. like, oh, I'm in Santa Monica, ha ha ha. But I I can't wait for our date tomorrow. The next day, he's like. Well, why don't you just come see me tonight? At that point, it was 11 p.m. And I go, respectfully, I could make my way back to Santa Monica tomorrow. Right. But um, I'm not going to your house at 11 p.m. for a first date. That's come not on a first now. date. That is a gluck gluck. Right? Yeah. And I'm trying to be, I am becoming better yeah. at that because we're hashtag learning self respect. So what you deserve. Right. But I'm like, hindsight's 2020 because you should have just taking that route I, I honestly should have I honestly should have but then basically he ignores me for like the whole day and then the mm-hmm. next night where we were supposed to have our date I just text him I go so is this happening or not he goes not gonna lie last night like pissed me off like that you didn't like you what were, like, he's like you were four minutes away from my house and we I could have like made food and like we didn't have to I was like yeah but like I, you don't understand like I don't we're, we met online. Like I, I don't, don't know, know you. you. I'm not going right? to your house. He's like, well, I made plans with my friend to go out to the bungalow in Santa Monica. Not that. And he <laughs> said, he said, you can come meet us if you want. And I had nothing to do that night. I'm like, honestly, this man is fine as f- I'm going to go okay. meet him. I'm like, he wants to... I'm like, honestly, to me, it was a green flag that he was even willing to show me to one of his friends because uh-huh. one of my big things when I, like, talk with men is, like, that they won't, like, they try to hide me. So I'm like, okay, right. I'll go out with you and your friends. Right. Yeah. Friends equals one friend, okay? So I'm like, um, all right, I guess I'm going out with you and your buddy. I'm hanging out at this random bar with him and his buddy, that was crazy. I love this haunted studio. Same. <laughs> so we're at this bar. I obviously am like two Red Bulls deep, shaking like as if I'm like two days sober, having post-acute withdrawal syndrome. And then it's like him looking pretty fine. And then his friend who I found extremely f- annoying, to be mm. honest. Like I found him extremely, extremely annoying. Why? I don't know. He was just asking me a lot of f- questions. He got way too drunk, way too fast. Gross. And honestly, like, for some reason, like, I don't know how, but, like, by the blink of an eye, my phone was, like, somehow in his hand, and he was, like, setting up a Spotify jam with me and his, <laughs> like, what? profile. Like, I don't know. He's, like, we need to, like, compare our music taste. And we, like, combined all three of our... I'm, like, I don't even know how you do this. What it's still f- on my phone. I still get, like, updates on it. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> um, no, this video is not sponsored by Spotify. But basically, oh I'm, like, okay, this bar kind of sucks. Let's move on to the bungalow like we planned. Right. Okay, if you don't know or you haven't been to the bungalow, people, the bungalow is basically right by UCLA. It's Mm -hmm. very much like 21 to 24 demographic of people. So it's very much like college people. Honestly, hate to say, maybe even a fake ID. Okay, (laughs) So we're on our way to the bungalow and we're just chilling, music's blasting, whatever. And then his friend randomly, just out of nowhere, goes... Hey, do you know someone named Paige Camerlin? And I'm like so confused, first of all. I'm just like, this is someone from Hinge. And not only is it someone from Hinge, it's someone from Hinge's friend asking me. I'm like, this is my universe, honey. Step out of it. Like, this is not, like, you shouldn't even be saying the words Paige Camerlin. Right. It's offensive that you even know her. And then I literally, (laughs) it was like, and he's been in it. it. Yeah, exactly. It was like a fucking. My like my entire life flashed before my eyes, and I sl- I'm in th- I'm sitting in the front seat. He's taking up the entire back seat, and I slowly turn around. Stop. And I remembered <laughs> his name was the name of Paige's awful, awful situationship that never committed to her. Oh. the one that she just talked about. And I look back and I go, well, let's, let me see. Uh, I I just made up a name, but I look back and I go, you're Greg. <gasps> and he goes. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, he knew you the whole time. Well, I don't even know if he was like, maybe like, l- definitely he did. definitely, he like, definitely has did, seen he, like, you on my he, Instagram. Something. Like, You're literally story. the most famous person no, in the world. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's because I sold out Dolby Theater. No, but I literally was like, I 
because I never met him. Everyone else in the friend group met him. I never right. inserted myself into that, honestly. Thank, Thank God. God. Yeah, it's <laughs> um, like none of I got, God said, <laughs> God said, let me give you a personalized experience. Right. Oh. Um, and I'm like, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, bewildered, befuddled, and bemurfed. Be and murfed. I was just like, I actually cannot believe this right now. And he goes, well, she said good things or bad things. And I go, honey, I think you could take a f- guess. Right. What good things? No, what good what, things? You, what, your dog's not even good. No, the dog oh. the got us kicked out of the first <laughs> bar. I failed to mention that. The dog was yapping the entire time. So that's why we had to move to the bungalow. So I maybe fabricated that a little bit. But that's the truth. Um, we go that's into the insane. bungalow and then there's like college kids who recognize me and then we have multiple people coming up and like asking for pictures and then at one point like this one girl comes up she's like i love the video of you in mexico with tana and then and like at this point greg the guy is like the lockout drunk and he's met already all of Paige's friends and is like ah i hate tana what and and i'm just like what the this is crazy. In front, no. of, and there's like a group of girls, like like with this girl, and they're all like looking at him, and then like we're taking the photos, and no. then like to me, he he like says under his breath, he's like, "Sagan, you look a little bloated." To me, what? <laughs> That's I insane. I know he's like, "You what? look a little." Bloated. I didn't even know that part. Oh, babe, it was, like he said something along the lines of, "You look bloated," and I, I don't even. You know look if it was, beyond this realm. No. Because you're acting beyond this realm. No, like, he looks like he does not belong on Earth. I've never seen a picture of him. (laughs) No, No, you don't need to. Honestly, you have the right interpretation. No, but I can't wait to see a picture of him after. Oh, you're actually uh, gonna... I basically tell him to, like, get lost because he was embarrassing me in front of, like, the people, like, a lot, like... That's some of the so girls, embarrassing. I know. Well, some of the girls were coming up to him and like, do you know this guy? I'm like, honestly, like, babe, no, hardly. I'm like, no. I'm so sorry. And then that's, like, when two minutes later, like the other guy that I was on a hinge date with I was like can we just like do our own things and then we did and then this random dude came up to me and tried hitting on me and then my date basically said that I was like cheating on him <laughs> I'm like I just met can you anyone get it together I'm like, like why no. is everyone in Santa no Monica act, like no tea if you listen and you live in Santa Monica but like the men that live in Santa Monica are absolutely raised by the wilderness um Vile and creatures. I just, I can't. I'm like, <gasps> some, a man came up to me while I was on a date. God forbid I didn't tell him to f*** off. Like, I don't have that in me. I'm not a mean person. I don't tell people to f*** off. That's honestly his job. It is. Mm-hmm. And he's like, why did you entertain that guy? And then I'm like, well, maybe you shouldn't have let him last. And then anyway, right. the whole thing blew up. But I told Paige the next day. Or I actually told you, she in, the, I told you in the moment. At Like, I'm not kidding. 1230. I get a text. Midnight. Trevi goes, SOS, SOS, <laughs> you will not believe. I'm like, what? She goes, I'm in the car with Greg. I said, there's oh. absolutely no f- way. So anyway, Girl. they turns out that they're like next door neighbors. What are the f- odds? There's a reason. My that For the universe to they show you how them. much he sucks. Oh, honestly. and you know what's so crazy? What? I still relapse on him. Wait, I love that. Um, <laughs> wait, so no. here's my question. So let's segue into when, mental health issues, when right? You, when you <laughs> heard the news that he was annoying and drunk, did it give you the ick a little? Oh, well, I wasn't... Mm. But be honest. Disappointed, be honest. not surprised. Okay. Like, because there's been times, I don't know if it's like a medication he's on or something, like anytime he would drink with me, he would always get like black the fuck out. And I'm like, you are so... The mix of whatever is going on. Yeah. It, it just like takes it when a man there. blacks out, and they well, do that, that thing where they're like out. falling towards you. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like eyes just defocusing, like looking through you. Right. Yeah. yeah, like sweaty, gross, wow. and also, oh my god, it's so, it's so embarrassing to like have an ex embarrass you because it's right. like, damn, now I'm tied. It's to the that. worst. Yeah. It's like when you said that, it like reminded me of times my friends were like, dude, you. You're dating that guy. He's so, and I'm like, oh my god! Yeah. Like, how can when I disappear? Your friends don't like someone. Oh that you're yeah. Currently talking to, or that I've ran into them, like after like post situationship. It's like, mm-hmm. damn, mm-hmm. I really wasn't seeing straight, was and I? At, no. That's what I was just gonna say. It's like every single goddamn time I have the rose colored glasses on. Right. Every yeah. single time, and no, I, I get excuse it. so much like ick, disgusting, terrible oh, behavior. Yeah. Cause I'm like, oh my god, no, it's totally fine. Like, yeah, no, I get that. And honestly, I had a situation ship like that. And for me, it's like, you're done when you're done. So don't beat yourself up about the relapses. Like, it's okay. When you've had enough, you'll know. Yeah. You know? 
But tell us about the first relapse. Oh no, there was only there's only been one relapse. Oh, slut. But you're and still honestly, talking to him. No, well, no, not really. Oh, not really. I, because I think the relapse actually like gave me a lot of clarity on. Sometimes it. you need yes. to need that like final little like gagget moment. Sometimes yes. you need like, to relapse. Wait, I've actually because moved on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's the tea, right? So the last time I saw this band, like pre Trevi story, whatever, like when mm-hmm. I broke up with him, we had the most. Oh, how do the, I say? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I say? After we had like the deep conversation about what are we doing here? What is this? Blah, right. blah, blah. We go back into his house and we have what I need to describe as like the most soul intertwining sex I've ever experienced. Oh, in wow. Like it is giving eye contact the whole time. Like wow. you are so beautiful. Like you are everything to me. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. He goes, say it. I go, you first. He goes, I love you. Oh my oh. god. Yeah. What? Yep. He's yep. Insane. Yep. Yep. He's, He's insane. insane. Yep, oh, mind you, meanwhile, playing Fade Into You by Mazzy Star, which is like my Stop. favorite song of all time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He knows that. Psychological f- warfare going well, he, on. Wait, what's wrong with this? Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's like evil. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So, right. Oh. Right, right. so I think because of like the way, and that was the last time I saw him. So after that little oh. experience, I ended up texting him saying, like, Listen, I think we shouldn't we should cut this off before we get further into this. Right. Like I just know we want different things. This is not gonna be good right. for my mental health, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. which is already fucked up. Okay, good for you. Hey. That's on self respect. And you. no, you're literally perfect in every way. You are going. Hey, I love it. Yeah. I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> like shit, have me back. Um Are you okay though? Yeah, no, I'm fine. So basically what had happened was we left it on like weird terms, right? Mm-hmm. A few months go on. I um uh, Forgot to fill my Lexapro prescription. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. And I was just kind of like lazy about it. Didn't refill it for like a good week or two. Okay. And by like week number two, I was just crashing the right. out. So I slipped and fell and my finger texted him like. Hate when that happens. Yep. No, it's mm-hmm. annoying. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Hey, off my meds. What's up? Dead. Yep. She said that. Yeah, you actually verbatim, said that? Verbatim. Oh verbatim. <laughs> and he goes, and honestly, respect to him for this one. He goes, like, in a way that I shouldn't enable or, like, whatever. In a I have no lie. respect for him. Okay, go on. <laughs> I like, don't either. I, like, like, why am I still vouching for him? Like, <laughs> <"Fuck> you. <laughs> like, you actually put me through the fucking mud and I'm still, like, giving you grace. Whatever. So, I, I said definitely, like, in a way that you shouldn't enable, but, like, I want you to. Mm. Oh. Yep. Oh, and you he, were on that, like, and like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that I was that, gonna say that. that uh-huh. That's what I meant to say. No, literally. And then, not kidding. Ten seconds after I send the message, whoop, Facetime call incoming. I said, "Oh, here we go. Oh, yep. we're back in the saddle. We're back, baby. <laughs> we're so fucking back." Yep. So, um, obviously, I wound up at his house that night, mm-hmm. and um, we we talked horizontally. You know, had some good conversations. Right. Yep. Right. Really figured it out. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, and then, I don't know, we hung out, like, two or three times, and then, like, I went on tour, and I, he called me, like, once when I was on tour, and just, I don't know, nothing, like, really came of it. So it's, like, fizzling out. Yeah, I and like I... you got your, like, final shebang, and, like, your final... Literal bang. ...moment, literal, literal that bang. you, like, needed, and I think it's, like, hot that you get to have, like, the last yeah. word. Wait, I love that. You know? But truly, because I think it like really, like I said, gave me clarity on it because I saw him again and the rose colored glasses have been shattered, thrown in the trash. Isn't that the best? On fire, yes. And the worst, and you're like, oh, I have to have sex with you now. Damn it. You're right. <laughs> Fuck. You know? So with all that being said, I guess this man maybe didn't have a proper mental upbringing, but mm. there are so, so, so many other men like that out there that exists in the universe. And that's exactly why we created our segment called Minimal Intelligence. What? This is Slayed. the segment where <laughs> this is the segment where we have gathered screenshots of DMs or messages or comments that we have received from men who thought they ate but <laughs> did not at all and actually quite literally embarrassed themselves. Uh so we're gonna move into that right now. Oh I'm so excited oh uh, my god you're gonna scream okay i say <laughs> i say hi love how was your day uh he goes truly remarkable and yours madam 
I said, um, honestly, same. Love that. He's all tips fedora. No, because actually, <laughs> like, like the, lady, the lady. And I'm like, okay, this is crazy. And he just, out of nowhere, he goes, since the day is almost over, and I've already had a remarkable day, I would say anything after this point is pretty much the cherry on top. Or are you a bottom? What? <laughs> this is on... What are you no. talking about? Like, what are no. you, you, ri- like, you not even a grinder, babe. What? Do, what do you like, mean? What is, it's not even a riddle. Like, what is the? No, because <laughs> riddle me, fiddle me, but one, two, buckle, one, two, my, buckle shoe. my shoe. <laughs> like, what the, what the f- are you saying, dog? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. Okay. Um, one, da, da, one uh, two, buckle yeah. my shoe. Yeah, yeah, one, two, buckle my shoe. Yeah. Okay. And honestly, are give we us doing, a lie. Are we doing only have, one no, we, per person? Give us as many as you, you can got. take over, I have, honestly. I have, yeah. I have two good ones. Oh, okay. And I'm going to start with like the more mid of the two because the last one's just going to send you into more. Okay, obsessed. This is a TikTok comment. Okay. In the best way, in most girls' girl way, this is also from a gay man. Okay. Oh. So this kind of cuts deep. Yeah, your favorite type of person. I know. <laughs> In the best and most girls' girl way, I hope Paige gets on Ozempic and gets buccal fat removal. She would slay so much. I responded back and said, what is girls' girl about that? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, like, what is, <laughs> like, who asked.org? Also, like, what <laughs> the f***? Prefacing, like, the most insane it's so, insult. I get that all the time. I'm on They're like, listen, I'm literally just trying to help her. They're like, or they're... <laughs> Or I got one that was like, oh my God, finally a girl with cankles in a wide rib cage. And I was like, okay. It's like, what if you just didn't comment that? <laughs> like, like, Paige would slay so much if she got on Ozempic and got bu- buccal fat removal. Uh, I disagree, first of all. I think well, yeah. just the way you are. Duh, 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 oh, duh, duh, duh. But that's not even like that it's minimal <laughs> intelligence. There's none. There's no intelligence. It's There's like, not even yeah, beneath Earth's crust. That's um, crazy. It's, it, what you said also, like, oh, finally a girl with kinkles and a wide rib cage. That, yeah. that also reminds me of the time of, like, when I posted the point five selfie. And she's like, you make me feel so confident about the hair on my arms. <laughs> I'm like, stop. <laughs> You're <laughs> No, because every time I post a picture, it's body is tea. I'm like, just call me fat. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yes, thick representation. Like, just call me fat. Like, finally a body like mine i'm like wait i like, literally oh, was just not. talking into a camera yeah i'm like that's not oh this my god oh. Blog. yeah <laughs> like, <what? laughs> that's so wow yeah so i got f- verbally assaulted that's tiktok's awful. brutal tiktok is tiktok brutal. is real is worse. T- tiktok is brutal <laughs> yeah i don't even know which one's the worst but uh, Oh, I'm so excited, please. Wait, no, you don't you have another? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Please. As many as we This one as you got. this one includes a voice memo. Oh, this wait, one what? you know, this this just encap- encapsulates like the plight of being a woman. Okay. He responds to my picture. He says, You are my dream girl, you're gorgeous. I said, here to make all your dreams come true. This man replies with this. <gasps> Bear with me. Paige, what's good? How's life? How we living? Um uh, just want to come on here and say that you are insanely gorgeous and that love your whole style and honestly, we should just go on a date. Is that a crazy idea? You said you're going to make all my dreams come true or whatnot. So, like, let's make it happen. Um, also, I don't know if you put a teddy bear there because I'm a teddy bear, but yeah, if I you promise. did and you already knew that, now I'm a little bit sussed out, but, um, yeah, we'll I'll take you on a date. And, um... I'm gonna go ahead and play you some guitar. What? Maybe a little Hollywood Mac landslide. What? Oh, that's what you hear, isn't it? I cry. I think it needs to be a little bit higher. How about this? Hold on. Go on TikTok Live. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Took my love and I took it down. <laughs> or, um, Maybe some, a song you He's off key. Look at Kate. Look at Kate. Is this seven I, minutes long? It's done. Song almost as pretty as you. Okay, bye. We should go on a date. Okay. Uh. <gasps> Him no. changing the key of landslide and, <laughs> and then singing no. it in the previous key while yeah, the- what? <laughs> no, my favorite part is he finished. 
he finishes landslide. He goes, or uh, maybe a song you actually might know. Yeah, like, like okay, drags. Like, what the fuck? And like, as if landslide isn't like one of the most popular songs of all time to cry to. Like, what? Are, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. I've never been so dry, so, like <laughs> Wait, in my life. Actually, cobwebs like Happy Halloween. Coib yeah. webs. Wait, um, like sandpaper um, badge right now. Just like when they f pull out the guitar. Now I need to see if I have any funny f voice notes. It's always like playing guitar at you. Yeah, app. never. It's too. offensive. <laughs> yeah, always <laughs> at, <laughs> always at. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Um, some guy comment saying you weigh about four hundred ninety pounds. Wait, I'm horny. Wait, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> DM him. Not kidding. <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> no, because I'd fold. Uh, no, because literally. No, because I have folds. Like <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> No, because I'm giving him curvy representation. I'm like, you're welcome. Come on. No, because it's like, thank Please. you for like showing your arm her off to the girl. Like, okay, that. meatball. All right. That's Wait, someone commented that? Yeah, okay. That's meatball. awful. <laughs> okay, meatball, do your thing. <laughs> but kind of cut like the meatballs, like Jersey yeah, Shore. Like, like, you're, like you're saying I got like lumps. Like, Wait, this guy kind of ate me up. He goes, keep dating twinks and complaining about dating twinks. It's your own fault. Gag it. Like, Honestly. how do you know? Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> Kind of, kind of read me the filth. No, right. Oh, I love this one. Oh. This man has been DMing me incessantly. Right. I drink your bath water. No oh. response. My girlfriend would love to watch us. No response. Oh. This one. Let me eat it. Again, no response. So it's just. It, they love talking to themselves. Yeah. It's yeah, because it's like, when do I find the balance of like, because I have a similar one right about here oh when do i find the balance of like okay i don't want to be obsessively texting someone but i also right. don't want them obsessively texting me because like that right immediate like Ick. dry spell oh dry. Well, yeah mama i'm dry. in the desert yeah. yeah it's coachella in my pussy absolutely it is a dust storm boys put your bandanas on because yeah. lana <laughs> del rey is about to perform ah! say um it. i I just, like, when do we find the balance? Like, is it out there? I'm like, I don't know. I feel like every day I wake up with a new wrinkle and, like, more lonely, but. Mm. I'm saying, your man is around the corner. Because, but it's not what, what? But it's not what the earth would want. Yeah. It's not natural. <laughs> it's not natural. But it's Basically, okay. But <laughs> I don't approve of it, but it's going to happen. Okay. Right. Yeah. I totally, I love that, actually. Yeah. I I feel like I suck because I only found one. For the most part, my DMs are like actually so nice. Okay. And like, I love all of you. Oh, but wow. But then it's like the random, I'll catch like a random stray of just being like, you fat ugly cunt. Like, okay. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah like, nice. Keeping me humble. Thank right. you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Need those. Thank you. Thank you for wow, your support. That is so crazy. Oh, this is someone who bought a ticket to go to the canceled podcast show, <laughs> but they were a fan of me. <gasps> she goes, <laughs> Wasted my time and money on the canceled podcast tour. You could have said and done more. Oh, oh look at this one. This one is an old coworker that worked uh, with my dad 10 years ago, and she makes new accounts to send me um, hate messages <gasps> off of every time I block her. No, oh my God. she like apparently like goes on a bunch of like drugs and then just like goes into like psychosis and then just like decides to d DM me out of all people. Ooh, but like and I think we've talked about this on the pod when we first started doing it last year, and she would say the most insane things to me that like, like about the Illuminati and like how I was brainwashed and like I'm like mutilating my body and like how like. Basically, she's like, I know everything about you and your family. I worked for your dad like a long, long time ago. Like, what? Oh like at the car God. dealership. And then she, she, I didn't hear from her since like the last time we talked about it on Six Feet Above because I would actively be talking about it. Turns out she made a new account. I get a new message from her. For, keep in mind, fully registered, like board on the board of California, like real estate agent, like full, somehow still has a job. What? In real estate. And here she is again. Oh, coming in hot with you are a mess. <gasps> You've got to be joking. Oh my god! And then like, look, at, look at her, just like selling houses. No, because like <gasps> it's giving obsessed. Like, yeah. What? It's no, like fan it's fan behavior. Oh. Who is that drag queen? Who is this diva? <laughs> Who is this diva? <laughs> is this? Babe, How that's Chloe Kardashian. You yeah, got a fan. I brought this to my dad's attention, and he's like, "Oh yeah, like we had to like let her go because 
we like you know something something drugs something something work something something oh but um apparently it's been like a long time and she's like still obsessed with like her old boss's child no it's time to call head of security like a call the fbi sack. babe call the fbi Wait, are we not doing off chest oh what, t- what okay it's 8 24 do you have anything from this week that you need to get off your chest Oh God! What's today Monday? I'm like, woof. And it could be good or it could be bad. Yeah. So it could be something that you're like really like happy about, that like you just really want to share, or like something that like you've been holding on to this week that you just want to like let out of your pussy. Ooh. Oh. Well, no. Ah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Too nothing, crazy. nothing public. Um, skin is breaking out like a mother. My next Blanon is like a year expired in my arm. I had to get mine out. Yeah. I had my period for six months straight. That's what it's happening to me currently. It's horrible. I, I'm, it's horrible. I'm like, y'all mind if I bleed out here? Um, uh, right. No, literally. No. I'm like, turn that blue into a... P- turn that blue... What, what happens Purple. when you put blue and red together? Yeah. <laughs> turn that sh- violet. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We are not going to do fan questions in this episode, but we are going to close off this section with Off Our Chest. If you don't know what Off Our Chest is, it is where we physically remove something off of our tits that we've been holding on to this week. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Kate, I'm going to let you start because you know I never have anything. Love. Okay. Um, Off my chest this week is quick. Um, As you know, going to New York next week, doing my live show, Parallel Play, something I do with my roommate. Excited. And I've been doing open mics for stand up to prepare, catching you up on the lore. Shut and up. Do you do stand up, by the way? No. She needs to. You should come with me to open mics. Are you kidding? Yeah. Are I, you I sure? started. She goes, Yeah, I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, don't yeah, even think about it. No, I started two months ago and it was like, I was so scared, but like, you are funny and you should come with me. I don't believe you. I also think I would have like the world's worst imposter syndrome. Like, I'd be but up that, there. That's why you gotta go. <laughs> but. So I've been going to open mics, as I've talked about, and there was this, like, open mic that my roommate, I live with two comedians, and my roommates were like, you got to go to this open mic, it's, like, a big one, and it'll, like, help you prepare, and I was like, okay, damn, so I show up, and it's, like, 50 people, 40 men, and 10 women. Oh, my. It's giving boys club. Right. And um, I did it, and it was so fun, we only got three minutes, so this is, like, a happy off my chest, it was, it was just... I have not been that nervous in so long, but like not to be corny. Like I remember I was like, damn, that means I'm like alive and passionate about this. Oh, and that feels really good. That's beautiful. We that's not even that. corny. Yeah. And it's not. No. Like no, let me like, have that. emotions. Yeah, like own that. Yeah, yeah, no, I loved it. It was so fun. And oh. it was like the final like I've been like doing the mics and I was like, okay, I just gotta like try this bigger one. And now I'm like, okay, I feel more prepared for the live show. I'm just You're happy set. doing Wait. things that scare me. Hello. Good Hello. for you, Diva. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I've been walking down the liquor store aisle more. Um, <laughs> that terrifies me. Yes, that'll yeah. give you butterflies. No, Just picking sure. it up to feel something. No, yeah. I'm like I'm literally like. So my off my chest, I don't even know because this is this is filmed before Halloween. I know this episode is going to be out in the first week of November. So I could have different thoughts about this, okay? Mm. Life is moving up and down. Kate and I have discussed on here that like the beginning of like dating or talking to someone... Um, you meet their representative before you meet them. <laughs> oh, absolutely. As, as hell. hell. And it's like <laughs> every, Best foot forward. every mm-hmm. single person has a different version of a representative. Wow. And, you know, I'm now moving into this like second month territory with this guy where it's mm-hmm. like the problem isn't that the representative is doing something wrong. It's the fact that, like, the representative is still there. It's, like, too fake. It's not enough effort. It doesn't feel authentic. Mm -hmm. Why am I not getting FaceTimed? Mm. Why am I not, like... Like, in theory, in textbook, like, he's doing things right as far as, like, not ignoring me, texting me every day. You know, when I'm down in the area where he lives, like, because he doesn't live in L.A., but, like, we plan to hang out. But it's, like, I'm over here. I'm, like, why have you not... What If your next text to me isn't, when can I see you? When can I drive right. to L.A.? Oh, have you not seen him yet? No, I, we went on our, our second date when I was in San Diego. Oh. Yeah, but he said he was going to come up last weekend and then I had to pull the information out of him the day no, of Friday. Just, you shouldn't that, be confused. Like, and he goes, oh yeah, I, forgot. I meant to tell you, like I can't come up. Mm. So it's like, 
Mm-hmm. You're not mean. He's not awful. He's not sucking, but he's sucking in the way of like, knock the representative down. Tell me what the truth is. Like, right. Because if this isn't like, I don't want to dilly dally around the truth. Like, I'm 26 years fucking mm-hmm. old. And I know that that may not seem like the oldest, but as I've stated, I've never been in a relationship. And I feel like every single aspect of my life is forming and molding to where I want it to be, except this area. So I don't have time to waste oh, I'm, wow. in a self, I'm in a self-respect era and i'm yeah. like really like not trying to like speed through like and weed them out but it's like i don't have the f- time no. to sit here and f- cry over this sh- anymore yeah. because i'm mm-hmm. like if i read this on i don't know where the f- I read this today but if it's not a hell yes it's Is an absolute hell no. no yeah yep it, it's it's exactly what it is if you if your next text message to me isn't how can I see you? When can I see you? Where are you? Blah blah. I'm like, I don't Absolutely. want it. Yeah. And you guys just you saw he just texted me. He's like, I'm going to a soccer game right now. Didn't I? I certainly didn't ask <laughs> for a Snapchat selfie that I know that you or like sent out. Your I'm itinerary. Like, yeah. You know, it's if, always that. Send your itinerary all you all you want. As, as long, long as, as you I, pencil me in. Yeah. Pencil me <laughs> in. So I'm just like so weird. The representative. Yeah. Tell me what the f- is going on. Mm-hmm. I'm done with the customer service right agent right i'm done i love that oh my god f- the representative and like yeah. i just had this thought as if i'm like nostradamus over no here. we are <laughs> actually <laughs> as aristotle no, over literally here. Socrates. Yeah. Philosophical actually. Over here. no I, I just had this like whole conversation with my roommate last night and i was like i'm so sick and tired of building relationships like on this house of cards that is just right so not true and not yeah. me yeah. and it's like like you said you put your best foot forward in the beginning and it's like you right. let so much slide you do yeah and like i have this guy right now i'm talking to and he's like i guess textbook like not treating me right but because he is so nice <laughs> <laughs> like like carry the one <laughs> he's like, well he's technically you know he's verbally technically assaulting dogging me <laughs> yeah. dogging playing the fuck out of me yeah but because he is so nice and charming and charismatic and like apologetic yeah I'm like, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's it's okay. so hard, especially here. Fuck like, that. it's it's so hard to like keep your high standards. That's honestly like, honest to God, why I'm not dating right now. Because it's like, I can't. Like, it's too much. And it's like, how much are we willing to sacrifice? At the same time, you're not asking for much. Right. Uh, like, my standards aren't even that high. I just want you to like respect me and make time for me. Yeah. Just like, don't call me. Uh, yeah. Like, actually, I'm actually, I'm begging, like begging. Like, maybe just text me back. Give me a call. Right. Like, yeah. Kiss my fuck. Or yeah, and, like give me some sushi. Yeah. I swear to God, it's like it's literally the smallest f-ing ask, and that's why I started looking outside of LA. This person, mm-hmm. and I'm like, hello, still, <laughs> hello. still, yeah, yeah. It doesn't Getting matter. Getting dogged. Yeah. It doesn't f-ing matter, and I'm I'm okay. so sick of seeing like the relationship advice on TikTok because like you know once you start talking to someone immediately it's like tarot card readings, and, right, like, right, 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 you, like, right. This video right. Yeah. you for yeah, a reason, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 all that. Sh- Time. Yeah. But I'm so sick of the advice being like, oh, well, you have to play the game back. Okay. And if, he, if he doesn't uh, text you for three I hours, can't. you don't text him for two days. Di- Go on your there feminine are- energy. I'm like, how about we all just die? Yeah. I oh, just f- can't. Up. I can't. I can't. There are too many rules, too many like oh, psychological yeah. like warfare. I feel like the game itself is such like like the vast oppression of it all the yeah. which we've talked about that like men ch- technically like f- get feelings for someone you know this is based by like and i put this lightly like research on like the way that like men's hormones work but like i guess like vast oppression is like the the feeling of relief after you overcome a challenge but it's like i just like you're not even presenting me challenges to give you're you. not right. giving me challenges <laughs> and i don't and, like I'm just, I'm tired. Yeah. All I am is just like, it's not that I'm like extremely sad. It's like, I know, and this is going to sound cocky, but like, I know I'm very, very f- hot. Not and cocky. there's a lot of just great true. qualities that are not that. So it's like, I'm just tired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you stop sending me the shittiest f- people? Imagine I'm like actually fully committed with him by the time this is out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. So me. He like never somehow, talking like, to him again. At my house with like a bouquet of like yeah. twelve fucking thousand flowers. Right. Yeah. No bare um, minimum. No the bare <laughs> f- minimum. Mind you, the, God forbid. Yeah. So anyway, that being said, I'm actually extremely grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> grateful. Right. Um, this is our gratitude segment, so we'll just like name a few things that we're grateful for this week, right. and um, then we fuck right off. Ah, I love that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I am grateful to have our very first guest back, Paige. It was a <sighs> so good joy, Stop. so easy. Joy. Really, so I felt I was a little nervous need- in the first five minutes, just because like I we're not used to this dynamic. We're right. just used to like you know, blah, blah, blah. right? And like you guys are like, where are you from? I'm like, okay, can we talk about like situation yeah. and some right. bullshit? Like what? <laughs> like I really wanted, to, I like really cared about your mass lore. I, yeah, I know you like actually did your research. Yeah, like, wait, <laughs> yeah, like no, she sh- really knows me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm very, very grateful to have you here. I think Aww. you literally should come on whenever. The like, actually. Duh. Yeah. I hope you guys loved her as much as we do because I know the f you will. Mm-hmm. Um, I... <laughs> the comments are going to be like calling me a no, I, I feel, I, uh, <laughs> It's giving 490. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful that we knocked out two episodes today, so we just get to. Hey. hey. Um I am just so happy with the music that I'm making and I feel pretty good. And I got a spray tan on. And I got new You're nails. Hot. Hey. I know and, that's right. I'm realizing my self-worth. So gaga. Gaga. Slowly, slowly, surely, slowly, slurp. Slurly, slurly, slurly. And, and slurly. And I guess slurly. I'm <laughs> actually sloshed right now. I'm like, what's in those? Yeah, no, not kidding. Um slowly but surely I am getting there. But uh, I'm just happy to be alive. Paige, what are you grateful for this week? That was beautiful. Thanks. Of course. Well, I'm like, you stole mine. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm honestly so, and like, here we go, cornball central. No, like, it's not. <laughs> it's really I am not. so grateful to be here because like I said, this is my first podcast doing ah! like outside of canceled besides like boys lie. But I did that with Tana. So it's right. like, this is my first solo Mm-hmm. Yes, pod. I mean, I'm just like so excited. I feel like things are finally starting to fall into place, and like my life is the chaos is finally starting to like become a straight line, you know. Mm. And I don't know. Grateful as got a new car. You Hello. did. You did get that. Damn. Hello. Okay. Got a new car. Thank God. My old one was like on two wheels. Love. As <laughs> right. It was a wheelbarrow. Yeah. There was some, there was, like, I like the. the- Crank windows. Yeah. I'm like Flintstoning it, like feet so on the fucking ground. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to like push it it's to like a gas station. It's like one of those costumes that's like Thomas the Train. It's like the two feet in the back. And the- I had to like oh Little God. Miss Sunshine that. Shit. Like I would have to like push oh it, like God, run and jump stop. in. Like no, I'm so sorry. yeah, just finally things are working out. Good. Mm-hmm. I feel like, but this, not I for too long, Jinx. I think no, yeah. literally. I think there's something like with the moon or the universe or the stars. I yeah, know yeah. where like a lot of like things that I have just been talking about with people of like their dreams or like work or like anything with the relationship. But a lot of things that like haven't worked in the past are starting to work for a lot of people in my life. So I don't know what the mm-hmm. f- is in there, but keep it up I'm universe. Keep it it up. Please, please. QLB. 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 Um, so grateful you came. So like, Oh my gosh. Well, Literally first. forgot the cameras were on. I'm not even trying to be like corny. Yeah. No, at all. I was yeah. like, this is a gag. And, um, <laughs> that exactly. And like, then just like, so excited to go to New York, do my show. Yeah. Not going to relapse on a man in New York. Gag. Hey! No, I'd literally rather do that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just grateful for Halloween and not being sloshed on Halloween and wanting to die the next day. Hey, hell yeah. In my costume. Hell yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. What are you being? No idea. I think like a cheetah. Same. Every single year I have like these grand plans. I'm like, I'm going to go as Cher from this specific music video. Yeah. Day of CVS CVS bunny ears. Actually. Every single time. Why wouldn't I? Made with paper plates. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) You know the kind. Yes. You know the fucking kind. (laughs) All right, you guys. We love you. And we will see you in the next episode. Love you. (gasps) Thank you for having me. Ah!